Hi guys, shout out sa FU Arts. We'll be live in a few minutes. Uh, three minutes to be exact. So stay tuned. Hi guys! Kamusta? Ako si Gerard, ang Digital Guru at welcome sa episode 6 ng live stream series ng Pinoy Mentors. Okay, so para sa broadcast na ito, kakausapin natin si Mika Borja, isang FU alumni. Nag-work siya ngayon sa department ko dati sa ABS-CBN, yung Filipino channel. Sa episode na ito, tatanungin natin siya about tips on how to survive your first job in TV, pro- TV broadcasting. Uh, we are now live via Digital Guru channels on Facebook and YouTube. And for the first time ever, we are also now exclusively streaming on FU Arts sa FU Alabang. So shout out guys sa mga students ko who are at, at home. I hope you're all safe. Uh, join the conversation as we discover and learn new things concerning this topic. So, kung ready na kayo, tara, magsimula na tayo. Hi, Bika. Hello, we're live. Hi! Hi, kumusta ka? <laughs> I'm good. Okay, Hello, Bika. Hello, Bika. Hello, Bika. Hello, Hello. So, <laughs> so, apparently, actually, you're also my first female guest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored. I'm honored. Okay, you guys. Honored. This is Mika. She works for abs even the Filipino channel. So, tell us more about your current... Uh, Kusa ka nag-work ngayon and then your position mo? Yeah, so right now, I'm a producer. I work I work in the Filipino channel. ABS-CBN Global, we call it. So usually, I handle yung mga, um, mga efforts or TVCs and in, 
in a network kasi, we call it promos. So, kung sa advertising agency, we call it PVCs. In networks, we call it promos. So, I handle those. Mm-hmm. And I also design content for the um, brands outside, like NBC Universal, Singtel, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Ayun, um, I actually started in the industry as a video editor. Mm-hmm. So, I know mas maraming ano dito, post-prod people or post-prod students. So, I hope you you guys are may matutunan kayo today. Ayun. <laughs> well, well, yes, maraming, ano, maraming na kami topics about that. Pero ang hindi rin nare-realize sa mga kids when they graduate, lalo na from multimedia, film, or any mm-hmm. other media-related course, is iba ang dynamics pagdating nga sa real world. As in, there yes. are people dynamics na will actually drive you insane. Am I right? <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. So, um, what are the things that siguro you can start off with sa mga uh, students right now who are finishing their studies in yeah, multimedia, film, etc. What do you say to them in preparation sa real world work? And mm. on their first job, ano, ano, about Actually, I create a few slides. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, pinaka, 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 before I start off, okay. I think pinaka advice ko is, you know, stay strong. Don't give up. That's it. Don't give up. Because mm. at one point or another, you're gonna fail. And I think lahat naman na bibigay ko, yun yung foundation, really. So, I'm gonna... I'm just going to share my screen. Okay. Sige. So... There we go. Let's move to our screen share scene. Okay. So... Can you see Yeah. We can, we can see your, Anna, your screen. Okay. how to edit kasi mayroong mga may system yan eh as in hardcore video editing talaga siya so kung graduate ka and you think you know editing you're adequate in it um, you graduated with flying colors it's still not enough kasi you have to learn the system of the network or kung saan man pwede nga the agency ayun so I started as a video editor I trained for a year so isipin nyo one year ako nagtitraining and then eventually I got I got in I got job. I was so happy because alam mo yun, parang syempre, ko fresh grad ka. Iba yung feeling pag ano eh, may sarili kang editing bay nandoon yung pangalan mo, editor. Yes. Uh-uh. <laughs> Michael Borja, edit 46. <laughs> Tapos the program, the the program or the show. So I was so excited. I remember my feeling coming in in that editing bay. And then I sat down and it's the funniest thing ever kasi I forgot everything that I learned. Oh and no! <laughs> four years in FEU, I don't know, one year in training, I forgot everything. And then the client walked in, she was asking me about a bunch of stuff, and you know, I said yes, kahit hindi ko alam. <laughs> so eventually, the client kind of figured out na hindi ko alam kung ano yung ginagawa ko. Oh and no! And the most important thing I do is, hindi ako nagtatanong. I always say yes. And that's my tip number one. Sabi nga ni Susan Ross eh. Okay. <laughs> Wag mahihiyang magtanong. Okay. So as newbies in the industry, don't be afraid to ask. It's always good to ask. Kasi it's better to ask kesa magmarunong ka. I remember it my, in my first day. Sabi ko sa dili ko, this is it. No more grades, no nothing. It's, it's reality. If I screw this up, I'm gonna screw up big time. Kasi kung magkamali ako, e-ere yun, alam mo yun, it's gonna appear on my, it's gonna appear on me on what I can do as a video editor. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, it didn't lead up to that naman. Pero yun yung advice ko sa mga, I think, sa mga fresh grad. Huwag kayo may magtanong kasi you're the new guy. Fresh grad ka and it's always, you know, 
challenge to actually je, sa mga introverts. <laughs> well, <laughs> yun. yung iba kasi may perception na pag magtanong ka, mahina ka or hindi ka magaling. Totoo ba yun? Yes, yes, yes. I felt that. I felt that. Kasi sa industry, syempre, bata ka eh. Uh-oh. Ikaw yung bagong salang. So, syempre, may mga, you're gonna, some, some people are gonna raise their eyebrows at you. Parang, sino ba to? Bakit hindi alam to? Bakit hindi alam yan? Mm. Pero sometimes, kailangan mo rin, you have to eat your pride. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kailangan mo tanggapin sa sarili mo na it's true. You don't know everything kasi you're just starting out. So, it's better to ask. Mm-hmm. And it's okay if you appear, um, if you think you're gonna appear stupid or, um, or inadequate, it's okay. Kasi after asking, you're gonna know. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's better. And, you know, give yourself a break. You're just starting out. So, it's okay to ask. Okay. And, if it's any help, ask ask to the right people. Yung talagang masasagot ka. Kailangan mo lang talagang lakas ng loob. Mm-hmm. With this, yun nga, especially kung introvert ka, like me. Kasi ako talaga, mostly kasi ng video editor sa ABS, lalaki. So, alam mo yun, ang hirap magtanong kasi parang, um... I was scared kasi syempre, ano eh, um, I don't know kung ano yung sasagot nila, baka sabihin nila. Ba't di ka nag-aral? Di ba tinuro sa yan? <laughs> Pero for me, there was the fear. But you know, kung hahayaan ko lang yung fear na yun to stop me from asking and from learning, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna gain anything. I'm not gonna grow. Eventually, yun nga, <laughs> nagkaroon naman ako ng lakas na loob to ask. Okay. Ayun. So that's my tip number one. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Okay. Good topic, okay. good topic. Okay, next one. <laughs> let's, proceed, let's proceed to tip number two. Ito related din sa tip number one. Don't be afraid to ask. And tip number two, be open to criticism. So if they're gonna criticize you, tanggapin mo with open arms. Kasi in the media industry, napansin ko, even sa sarili ko, when we're starting out, we treat criticism as something of a negative trait or a neg- something negative. That's true, that's true. So, pag tinanggap natin yung pag kinriticize yung gawa natin, of course, baby natin yun eh. May ginawa natin yun. So, you know, when you produce something or when you create something or design something, you treat it as something na parang something of your own. So, may, it's very hard, di ba? May tanong ako dyan. What about the times na kinakriticize ka, pero you know in your heart na the one criticizing you, walang alam in any sa video or sa editing or even sa multimedia. They just love to bring the hate. What do you say about that? Ayun. So, when I say this to be open to criticism, you also have to pick the people na you're open to criticism to. I mean, I'm saying na be open to criticism itself. Pero if you if you think kung may gut feel ka sa sarili mo that this idea is something na is something na is gonna work then kung client mo siya um you have to politely yon always be polite you have to politely rebut pero yun nga um try to understand din kasi baka naman yeah may hit pero you know try to get something positive out of it mm-hmm. maybe try to get something um kasi one way or another May hidden idea yon, kahit na alam mong, you know, it's out of just because this person doesn't like me. <laughs> Pero try to turn it around into something productive. Kasi um, don't don't fight fire with fire. If you fight fire with fire, nothing's gonna happen. You're just gonna burn the whole thing up, right? Mm-hmm. So yon. With this one, um, also a tip to the newbies: you're not gonna stop um, a project with just one pass. That would be like nearly impossible. So, kung magpapasa ka ng project, if you're handling a project, if you're if you want to be a producer, if you're handling a project, or if you're a designer, if you're creating a project, always keep in mind na hindi don matatapos yon. One way or another, may papa revise yan, minor man or major. So you have to open yourself up to those, para hindi ka hostile pag <laughs> nagkrete, pag kinrete sa isyong gawa mo. And yeah, yun yah. Also keep in mind it's um. Even though you think it's personal, if as long as you're in a boardroom or in a meeting, um, try to tell yourself that it's nothing personal, even if you think it is. Because if you try to take it personally, yung brand mo rin yung masisira. And eventually, the whole project. So, you know, try to keep it, try to keep it professional. 
And yeah, just, you know, um, take it as something na parang, para mapaganda yung project. Not, not a personal attack on you. Though, alam natin. <laughs> ano? <laughs> may, time, may times, you know. Of course, there are people, there are, you know, pag, pag mentor ka na talaga sa real world, there are gonna be people who, who's gonna challenge you. But oh, I yes. think, you, you take it as something na, you know, as a challenge. Parang, how do I deal with this with this person? How do I take his criticism in a very productive way? Mm. At the end of the day, if you hold on to, if you hold on to being polite and being open to criticisms and keeping your cool, eventually people are gonna, you know, wanna work with you again. Yes, uh, you know, nagaway away kayo. Edi nothing. Edi bad bad credibility na bad yun. Good point, good point. Okay. What? <laughs> Yan. Okay. Let's go on to tip number three. So, yun. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> in tip number three naman, since you guys are starting out, keep in mind to invest in yourself. So, go on workshops, go on seminars, go on boot camps. And I'm not just talking about um, professionally, pero, you know, I'm also talking about when I say invest yourself, also invest in how you look. Kasi you represent your brand. Mm. Wait, uh, so on how you look, well, uh, can I just emphasize, why is that also important? Yun. So, when I say investing in yourself, it has to be a whole package. So, kung ikaw ay nag-start pa lang, yun nga, um, since newbie ka pa lang, kailangan mo rin bihisan yung sarili mo. Not just on the inside, not just on, you know, intellectually or but you also have to dress yourself up physically. So I'm gonna. I have two points with this one. Okay. Number one is parang um, invest in yourself when it comes to your career, and invest in yourself when it comes to how you look, because that's how you represent represent your brand. So I'm gonna go on first with um, investing yourself in terms of your career. So with this, I'm pertaining to yun nga, going to workshops, going to seminars, going to boot camps. There are a lot of workshops na kailangan mo lang abangan. So, you know, kung, ayun nga, is what I'm saying, if you're an introvert, this is very challenging kasi usually workshops are, are maraming tao na hindi mo kilala. So, isipin mo yung pupunta, unless you're with friends. You mm-hmm. can also invite your friends. That, that's one thing to deal with it. Pero, as much as possible, if you can, try to go on it alone so you can build your network. Kasi if you're if you have friends, your friends mo lang kakausapin mo. Pero yun nga. Um, so yeah, go on workshops, go on seminars, go on boot camps. Um, I see a lot, lalo na sa UPFI. I know FEU meron din eh. Kasi when I was studying in FEU Manila, my organization also do workshops for students for free. Pero okay. if you're graduate na, so that's one. Pero if you're graduate na, try to, you know, go outside. Meron din Rebelde. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Rebelde. I think there are also um, video editors and colorists and graphic artists who give out also workshops. Some are for free, some for a fee. But you know, it, it, it's, it's always a good thing to invest in yourself because it's going to beef up your resume then. That's one edge you can have um, among all the... Among all the um, among all the people applying for a job. And then the next one is, when I say invest yourself, yun nga, it has to be a complete package. So when you invest yourself, wag lang, ano, wag lang with workshops, with seminars, or intellectually, but also invest your, in yourself aesthetically kasi you represent your brand. So hindi naman pwedeng, yeah, I mean, okay ka, magaling ka mag-design, you have a lot of ideas. But you don't look like it. <laughs> Napatingin tuloy ako sa suot ko. <laughs> <laughs> okay naman yung suot ko. <laughs> Pero yun, it's always, always important kasi you represent yourself. You represent your brand. And I know as a creative people, you know, we want to dress up na minsan casual, minsan, you know. Pero you have to keep in mind na don't be selfish, you know. Don't dress up just because it feels comfortable. Dress up in a way na pagkakatiwalaan ka ng mga kliyente mo. So, you have to look trustworthy kasi. So, when I say 
Okay lang naman. I mean, I'm not saying na to dress up na parang ano, always informal or office attire. I'm just saying na be presentable. Mm-hmm. Since you're gonna talk to clients or if you're gonna pitch, do a pitch. Or if you're gonna meet with bosses, if you're gonna go on your first interview, always, always invest in yourself and dress up. Look nice, look well. So they know that, alam mo yun, you come across as something na mapagkakatiwalaan because you prepared for it. You prepared for the pitch. You prepared for the interview. So it has to look. I mean, you know, naman the, the media industries. You know, it can be a very judgmental industry. <laughs> no, parang not not just it can be. It is a judgmental <laughs> industry. <laughs> it is a judgmental industry. It is. It's very judgmental. I mean, we always base on looks. The first sense, na talagang tinatahak ng media industry is the vision or the visual. So you know. If you're creating something, if you're designing something, pakita mo rin sa sarili mo na um, you're ready for the job. So you have to dress like it. Okay. Okay. Nice tip. Okay, this one naman. Tip number four. When if you invest yourself in yourself, go to workshops. But if you can't go to workshops or anything, or if wala ka masyadong makitang workshops, my tip number four for you is get a mentor. Mm. Sabi nga, Ni Yoda, yeah, much to learn, you still have young Padawan. <laughs> <laughs> well, so who's your Yoda? Ayun. So, um, when I was starting out as a video editor, I have a mentor. And she taught me everything that I know when it comes to post-production. And it pays because when you have a mentor, one-on-one siya. Not like in workshops, usually you, do, you go to a big group, Pero, and getting a mentor kasi, it's better kasi it's zeroed in on you and the mentor. So that's one. And also in, in film kasi, they call it apprenticeship. So if you want to do directing, film directing or cinematography, if you want to be a director of photography, if you want to be a film editor or, you know, graphic designer, get a mentor that you trust. It pays. It it will pay. Kasi, um, iba yung iba yung may pinafollow ka na na footsteps. And at the same time, you know, may pinafollow ka. At the same time, you have your own. So all in all, win win siya. For me, um, when I was starting out as a video editor, yung mentor ko si super strict. As in super strict. As in nagagalit sa sahay. And bakit ang bagal bagal mo mag edit? Wala ka pang natutapos. <laughs> Um, as in, sinisigaw niya ako. Tapos, Sino yan? <laughs> <laughs> Tumat- Bakit ano? <laughs> nervous laugh uh, na emoticon. Sino yan? May, Tatanungin may, kayo may sa office. Ba dito? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it was it was in in iPos. In iPos. Mm. Yun. Tapos, nagigalit siya pag di ako nito shortcut keys. Kailangan mag-shortcut please ka. Sayang yung time nung pag, you know, pag-scroll mo sa screen, hanapin mo pa yung ano, mag-shortcut please ka. And then eventually, um, kasi nandun, for me ah, for me, when I was in the mentor, when she was mentoring me, naging ano ko siya eh, parang naging, syempre, since mentor ko siya, I looked up to her. So I wanted, I wanted to be like her. I wanted to edit as fast as her. I wanted to deal with clients like her because the clients like her very much. And, you know, eventually, I was doing it to please my mentor. Mm-hmm. And it's, eventually, it's it, it's a good feeling kasi when somebody's, you know, proud of you then. Na assuring you na, great job. Yun. So, that's one thing to keep you going then in the industry. Kasi it's, it's ano eh, parang it will encourage you. So, with the mentor, also, one on, kung one-on-one kayo, ipapakita niya rin yung flaws mo, ipapakita niya rin kung, kung ano yung mga naging, dapat mo pang i-improve. So, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend for you guys to get a mentor. Okay. And someone, someone that you can trust. Number five. Yes. Tip, tip number five. Um, think outside of the box. <laughs> I know it's a cliche, but um, this is something very important in the industry. You always have to be on the lookout for fresh ideas. Kasi, why is the... You know, pakita mo kung bakit kailangan ka ng company. Pakita mo kung bakit kailangan ka ng, ng clients mo. 
So always offer fresh ideas with this one. Think outside of the box. Wag, ju- don't just think na ito yung flow, ito yung, ito yung kailangan sundin, ito yung naging format nung mga TVCs before. Actually, for a time, I wasn't thinking outside of the box. Kasi, ano eh, when I was starting out, yun yung, yun yung medyo danger din ng, sa, pag, ano, sa panonood ng mga examples ng previous editors or previous producers. Kasi nagagaya mo sila. Mm-hmm. So, parang may format ka na nang susundan, whereas, dapat gumagawa ka ng bago. So, yon when you think outside of the box, try to be also realistic. Huwag lang yung super idea na, ito, maganda to, pero hindi naman siya realistic. Re- realistic in terms of the length or the timeline. Hindi naman siya realistic in terms of the budget. So, But, there are also things you have to consider when you think outside of the box. Give us examples naman uh, when you did this thinking outside of the box tapos of the times din naman na thinking out of the box na hindi siya realistic para at least they have more of a concrete example in their minds i guess yeah sure um <laughs> i have a lot of i have a lot of examples na more on hindi realistic eh. kasi when i was starting out yun nga hindi ko pin review yung mga gawa ng ibang ng ibang producers before me because when When I was a video editor, um, eventually, I thought to myself na just a slight cuento lang on how I came to producing. Parang, yun, I started out as a video editor and then I went on to being a producer kasi I wanted to do something more, not just edit. So, when I came to ABS-CBN Global, I started na parang nagpo-produce na ng videos. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yun nga, dito ko binhight no pag to think outside of the box kasi my first scripts were all parang gusto ko may shoot lagi and then when i passed it on to sa channel head syempre hindi ko pa alam yung environment when i passed it on to sa channel head pagbalik sa akin ng script lahat sila red as in pulang pula kasi parang we don't have budget for this we don't have we don't have to shoot kasi we have materials available we don't have we can't get the artist because We have to promote already. And ganun yung mga comments niya. So that was one thing na ano, sobrang unrealistic. And I was starting out as a producer. So really, I, I really wasn't thinking that well. Kung ano lang yung gusto kong gawin, yun lang yung iniisip ko. Ay, hindi, ko pa, hindi ko pa iniisip kung may budget. Hindi ko pa iniisip kung may time to do it. So that's my tip for, I guess, for the newbies. Always consider these things. Don't just think outside of the box. And then there was also this one instance na thinking outside of the box really helped. It's for an AVP. AVP siya ng The Lifestyle Network. Mm-hmm. And then, ang dami niya ng pinagdaanan. Actually, na producer. Ang dami ng pinagdaanan. And there, I, alam mo yun, for me kasi, when you do an AVP, I, just, I don't want it na parang something na pinapakita lang yung brands, pinapakita lang yung shows. So, what I did was, I knew it was risky kasi if I do it and it hindi siya, hindi siya nagustuhan I have to start all over again mm-hmm. pero anyway, I, I knew I had a gut feeling na it will work okay so eventually I edited it in such a way na hindi lang panay brands yung pinapakita pero there was a flow there was a story and eventually yun nga it was something new so they liked it so yan pinalabas naman sa actually hindi dito pinalabas sa mga events nila in North America it was something I'm really proud of so that's one thing that you can get for thinking outside of the box wow. that's tip number five <laughs> okay nice is it, you, do you want to take a break or do you want to keep going um I think it's okay if we keep going okay para at least mainit pa sige sa ano mo flow mo go go tip yeah, number okay. six Tip number six. Hi, Kim Irwin. <laughs> What's up? Okay, tip number six. Be young, but don't be mature. Oh, so when is, I say this... Uh, say, what does this mean? Yun. Since bago tayo, fresh grad, fresh grad, we are young, and it's okay to be young. I mean, it's an asset because you have these fresh ideas. You have these new ideas, new creative juices that everybody is looking for. So when I say be young, it's okay. Apply your youth creativity creatively, but don't be mature. So it's okay to be young, but act mature. Act mature then. So it's okay to be young in nature, but 
when it comes to decision making, when it comes to when it comes to you know um, dealing with clients, when it comes to dealing with pitches, don't be mature. So act like a pro, act like a veteran, even if you have no experience. What does it mean? Um, I'll give you one example. For example, you're in a boardroom or in your okay. you're in a pitch. Okay. So yun, inaatake. I say, aginda. So youthful. Gusto, gusto mo modern yung design mo. Okay. So nagpe pitch ka, aginda yung pitch mo, and you think it's it's cool. You think it's nice. So let, wala na dapat silang pinapar. Let, let me stop you there. What if yes. sinabi parang hindi maintindihan yun na ano ng audience natin yung mga ganon. How do you react? to that without being immature that what is if what you're saying you know. Yeah, okay. Ganun, mga ganung classing scenarios guys that happens. <laughs> <laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> Yon, when I was starting out, when I was starting out, usually I take the, these comments is very hurtful. Kasi mm-hmm. ano, um you know, syempre nang start ka pa lang, hindi ka pa sanay na gan- these people Ganto talaga to, business-minded sila. So, they go straight to the point. Some are filtered, you know, they filter what they say, some are not, not talagang, they just say what they want to say. Now, um, here's the thing, you have to expect that already. So, don't act immature in a sense na, parang, you know, you're just dealing with friends or you're just dealing with, with, some, with, with someone very close to you. So, when you deal with someone very close to you, usually, Ano, diba? Sasabi mo, grabe ka naman, nasakta naman ako, grabe ka naman. So, it hurts your feeling. Mm-hmm. So, be mature in a sense na take their criticism slightly, you know, think of it as something very positive. And actually, ito, it will appear in how you act. Eh. Being okay. being immature will will affect your actions. So, when I say, when I say don't be mature, try to hold it in and deal with it in a very, very professional way kahit na inaatake ka na ng sobrang daming criticisms. So yeah, you are young, but don't be immature in the sense na um, don't let it get to you. Don't let the stress get to you. Don't, <laughs> don't let the, don't let the um, criticisms get to you. Handle it like you have 20 years of experience na parang sanay na sanay ka na. May comment no. tayo sa audience si Mr. Merwin De Mesa. May ganyan talagang thinking ang business-minded people. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. And you know, in one sense, di rin naman natin sila ma-blame kasi they want to sell eh. They want to sell. Business-minded sila. So you know, you have to think, you have to also um, think of them. You know, fill in their shoes. So kung nasa shoes ka nila, they know their brand eh. They know their brand some of them, most of them, they know their brand. They know what they want. So if they're, if, kung hindi nila nahanap yun dun sa pinitch mo, mm-hmm. w- wala tayo magagawa. You have to start over again. Kasi they're, at the end of the day, they're the client. They know their brand. So, mm-hmm. yun. So yeah, don't be mature. Even if, even if, any, nakaka- any special lines that you can share to the young ones? Na, or any special tricks? Para kunyari, if you're about to lose it, kasi even though you're trying to be the most mature person in the room, <laughs> pero of course, you're still human. You're also bound by your emotions. And then, it's not as if they criticize it in a professional way. Maybe they also put it in a personal way. Even attacking sometimes your intelligence, your creativity, and then... Um, Parang even attacking na, did you even really work hard for this? Ano yung advice mo sa mga ganong klaseng situations on how to maintain your composure? I think before, it happens before. Before you go into the boardroom, kailangan you have to... And yeah, ta- tama din yung sinabi ni Sir Mervyn, don't take it personally. Mm-hmm. They don't know you. Mm-hmm. And you don't know them personally unless you're dealing with your family. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. But uh, actually, you know, you have to set your mind to it before you even go to the pitch, before you even go to to um to the client, before you face them. Kailangan meron kang pep talk sa sarili mo. Mm-hmm. You have to prepare yourself. Na things can go wrong, things can go out of control, and it's okay. If it does go out of control, it will pass. 
So if you fail this time, it's okay. At least you know what they want. Yun nga, may sabi, isashare ko lang din. Sabi ng isa namin producer, si Jovelin, kaya ka nga nagpipitch eh, kaya ka nagpapabaril. So you know what they want. So the first pitch is always tricky. It's always tricky. It's always risky. Kasi it's your first pitch. Yun, kumbaga, yun yung unang salang mo. So, yun. Kaya ka nagpapabaril actually to get what they want. So, mm-hmm. if there's time for another pitch, that's when you, that's po, that's where you improve. Dapat. So, if you're a, if you're a mature person, you're not gonna quit on the job. Hindi porket kinriticize ka or kinriticize yung gawa mo, magkikwit ka na. No, it's not about you. It's not about you. It's always about the brand. It's always about the project. It's always about your output. It's nothing personal. Okay. So, that's the pep talk that I usually tell myself. <laughs> Even now. Okay, tip number seven. Tip number seven. Okay. So, ito, this one. Ang dami kong nakikita. May Facebook group ako sinadihan. Mm-hmm. Sa Facebook, malamang. <laughs> Tapos, ang dami nagra-rant na parang itong friend ko nagpapagawa sa akin ng libreng design. Blah, blah, blah. Itong friend ko. Blah, blah. And, for me, may positive doon. There's something positive that that comes out of it. Except na lang kung inaabuso ko na talaga. Mm-hmm. So my tips to all the newbies out there, it's always okay to start small. So mm-hmm. nyari magpapadesign sa yo. Actually, ako nag-start ako, nagpapadesign sa akin yung sister ko eh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for free, pro bono. I mean, I started out as a video editor. Wala pa ako sa ABS. Ang rate ko nun is 2,000 lang. 2,000 with three revisions for a 30-second clip or a 60-second clip. Yun yung rate ko. Ouch. Sobrang liit. Sobrang liit. But I was, you know, for me kasi, sinabi ko sa sarili ko, um, it's always okay to start small because that's where you build your network. Because mm-hmm. if, hindi pwede kasi, you're newbie eh. So people usually look for experience in you. Ano na ba nagawa mo? Ano na ba yung mga mm-hmm. project na na-handle mo? So, you know, it's always okay kung mag-start ka muna sa little budget little budgeted projects. Mm-hmm. Kasi that's where you build your network. Not only that, you also build client, your client base. Let, so, me, uh, let me ask you this question. How do you find the line between starting small or being exploited? Yun lang. Okay. So for me, if you start small, you have to be very careful. You have to be very clear. So kunyari, babayarin ka ng 2,000. Umpisa pa lang, kailangan, alam na nila, na hanggang dalawang revisions ka lang or ikaw, it's up to you hanggang tatlong revisions ka lang hanggang isang revision ka pwede nga walang revision eh mm-hmm. so, you know malalaman mo na ina-exploit ka na first of all kapag if you choose to say no and then gin- inaway ka pa or in ka pa sa Facebook that's exploit that's ex- exploitation or if they say mean things to you kung hindi ka talaga talagang Hinayaan, if they didn't leave you in peace, that yon umaabuso na. And also, if you choose to accept a certain project and then you don't build a relationship at all with your client, mm-hmm. that, you know, or nasisira yung relationship mo with your client, then that's, I guess, also yes. exploitation na yun. <laughs> Kasi nasisira na yung relationship mo, pwedeng blackmail ka pa, pwedeng, um, let's say, pwedeng inaaway ka pa. So, you know, you have to be very careful with this. Mm-hmm. Kung nakikita mo yung client mo is something na talagang um, easy to work with or mm-hmm. hindi naman easy to work with pero something na you wanna work with in the future, then why not, you know? Kung talagang sinabi niya, ito rin, well, kung honest sa'yo yung client. Mm-hmm. Now, may mga clients kasi talaga na, Maiga, medyo maliit lang yung budget, magkano ba yung, magkano ba yung rate mo? Mm-hmm. So, usually what I say is, pinabalik ko sa kanila, how much is your budget? How much, how much is your budget? Let's work around that. Mm-hmm. So when they give me a number or a figure, and medyo hindi, hindi okay, pero I know they really need it, mm-hmm. I do the project anyways, kasi I trust naman the client. You know, i-gage mo rin. Kailangan marunong ka din mag-gage. Pero if you're a newbie, yun nga, try to, try to background check. Mm-hmm. Try to background check. Sino ba to? Ano mm-hmm. na bang ginagawa nito? May mga friends ba ako na naka-work ito? I do yun. that too. Uh-oh. Tapos, uh, add ko lang din sa very interesting tip mo dito. What I usually do, kasi pag man, ang nakikita kong parang if it's exploitation versus starting small, 
if limited nga budget ng kunyaring client na yon, they're very accommodating on what do you need para mag-work within, with, within this budget. And they're very yeah. accommodating with uh, you asking more questions, or you being able to get their target objective on your creatives. Uh, pero pag kunyari sa exploitation, ito yung mga sinasabing, madali lang yan, pero once you get the project, ultra hirap pala. And then, ang dami mo palang kailangan gawin. And then, you're already in. And then, they're now super demanding without any further instructions. Yun ang, I think, nagiging, yun yung exploitation na. So, yes. I agree. I agree. Mm. I agree. I super agree. So, yun nga, when it comes to dealing with these kinds of clients, you have to be very careful, especially if you're starting out pa lang. Kasi I've dealt with most of them, yung iba nga, hindi nabayad, yung iba, you know. <laughs> so, you have to be very careful, lalo na kung starting out ka pa lang. That's the importance of having a mentor. Mm-hmm. Kasi, ano, um, you can always consult your mentor. Mm-hmm. Should I do this? What do you think? Yun. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, let's go tip. to tip number eight. Ooh, we're almost done. <laughs> Ito. <laughs> Kailangan talaga natin pag-aralan. But ito mag-ganyan yung photo mo. Still wait for update. <laughs> Waiting for update. <laughs> Kasi, I felt like that, eh. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yun. Tip number eight. When you go into this industry, be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your clients. Be patient with your colleagues. Because you're gonna work with a lot of people na iba-iba talaga yung ugali. You're gonna, mm. you're gonna work with a lot of people na who doesn't Think exactly the same as you mm-hmm. and you know you're gonna encounter so many problems especially when it comes to <laughs> well as a software <laughs> Bakit so, sa software? Bakit? Well, what's, with, <laughs> what's with the software Anong story to? <laughs> no kasi ano eh, when, I, when we were starting out first year ko yan sa global mm-hmm. wala pa kami masyadong machines Oh, Wala no. talaga. Ang machines namin, hindi pa kami naka-iMac noon. Alam mo desktop lang na iMac. Tapos, share-share kami sa Premiere Pro. Share-share um, Joel. Sa... <laughs> <laughs> Alam ni Tim yan. Sana na dito si Tim. Anyway, si Tim, Tim was my graphic artist. That's the name of my graphic artist. And then, you know, I, um, I had, in a week, I had to produce 10 TVCs. Mm-hmm. And we don't have that much um, high-powered talaga na, ano, na high-powered machines. Mm-hmm. So, you know, doon ako natutong maging patient because I know Tim was working really hard sa yung graphic artist, pero kasi nakikita ko yung machines and yung software sobrang bagal mag, <laughs> sobrang bagal mag-render as in super. And there are times na, you know, eventually it got better naman eh. Nagkaroon na kami ng ng mga machines, okay na yung mga softwares and everything. Sabi Pero ni that... Merwin, kaya pala daw. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kaya pa, uy, grabe naman. <laughs> Narunasan mo din yun, Sir Merwin. <laughs> uh, anyway. Kung wala mo lang lang, guys, uh, we tallied actually, uh, in my eight years working sa ABS, I actually created 9,500 plugs. So, si Mika, probably it's, she's close in the 5,000s na. <laughs> yes, I think. I kung think. i-add up mo together, kung kunyari 10 plugs a day yan, that's <laughs> sobrang dali lang na. Anyway, sige, continue, sorry. It's so true. Ang dami na, no? Anyways, yun nga. Um, so, you have to be patient. May times na you have to be patient with the with Premiere Pro itself, with After Effects itself, with Maya, with any software that you have. Kasi yun nga, it's gonna crash, lalo na pag maraming, pag maraming kang projects talaga sabay-sabay. So be patient with that. I think may experience na rin yan ng ibang students ngayon eh. So yun, um, be patient also with yourself. Give yourself a break. Kasi one way or another, you are gonna fail. You're bound to fail kasi nag-start ka pa lang eh. But that's okay. I mean, everybody fails. So you have to give yourself a break. You have to be very patient with yourself. And you have to, you know, um... Um, sabi nga ni Denzel Washington, you know, if you fall seven times, get up eight. So, mm-hmm. you know, just um, be confident na malalagpasan mo rin kahit anong challenge, kahit ano Kunyari, hindi na, hindi ma-approve of, approve yung ginawa mo. You know, find the silver lining in every situation. Mm-hmm. You Good have tip. to be also very patient with your bosses in dealing mm-hmm. with clients kasi it's gonna pay. Mm-hmm. Um, don't be hostile. 
Trust the process. Uh, Trust the process. Yes. Don't be hostile if you think kung medyo ayaw nila yung idea mo but you think it's gonna work, you have to prove to them bakit mag-work yung idea mo. They say they're gonna invest their money on you eh. Mm-mm. That's one also. Good tip. So that's it. Tip number eight. Tip number nine. Wow. This is also very, very, very important. I'm learning this. Still <laughs> learning. Still learning. I think a lot of artists are still grasping this tip. <laughs> I know, because time is money. Doon ko lang na-realize na nag-work na ako sa media industry, as in, nasa ABS na ako. Time is money. Everything has to be on time. Always, always be on time. Because if you don't, you're gonna miss out on a lot of opportunities. And believe me, I have missed some very important opportunities just because I was late. You know, it's very important to na ang mindset mo dapat is you're not just wasting your time. But you're wasting also your colleagues' time and your clients' time if you're not on time. Mm-hmm. And it also re- it also reflects on you how you work. Because actually, w- mag- magkuento lang din ako. There was one time na ang tawag kasi namin don is um parang re- nagre regroup kami mm-hmm. as a team. That's yearly. Eh. I forgot how we call it. Ano nga ang tawag doon, Kimmer? <laughs> Pero anyways, yearly siya nangyayari. And then, re- regroup as a team. Nagkakulate kami ng ideas for for what's to come in 2021 or last year, what's to come in 2020. And then, the whole team was late. Alam Andun ko na yan. Creative review, yun. Re- creative review yeah. meeting yan. Yan. Yeah, very good. Uh. Uh, the whole team was late. <laughs> And, pero, except for the bosses. And then the boss. And then sila. And then the whole team was, everybody was late. That oh, was, I know. Pero, you know, syempre, every, na late yung iba kasi we had to work overnight. We had to work. Yung iba nag work pa till we hours of the morning. Yung iba ang layo pa ng bahay. Pero, at the end of the day, pag da, pagdating mo sa boardroom, hindi na yung problem ng client mo. Hindi na yung problem ng boss mo kung malayo yung bahay mo, kung nag- As harsh as it sounds, mm-hmm. it's not their problem. So, you know, if you want to be professional, always be on time. Kasi yun nga, no, nalate, so nalate yung whole team namin. Ang sabi sa amin ng boss, no wonder lahat ng, lahat ng outputs nyo is late. Because kayo mismo, you're always late. Ouch. Yes. Ouch, so, doon na natapos. <laughs> Pasok, Myra! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, yun nga. So, doon namin na-realize na tauhan ng lahat na shocks. Oo nga. You know, we're wa- do- you're wasting the time of the people you're meeting eh. So, this is very important. Kasi, when I was a student, parang antin ko kung late ka, okay lang eh. Kasi eventually, you're gonna make up for it. But no, no, that's not how you should work. So, you have to value the time of, of your client and also your time. Kasi sino may meet mo. Very important. Very important. It's simple, but it's hard to follow. But it's very important also. Mm-hmm. So yun, last but not the least. Tip number 10. Ito mm-hmm. <laughs> talaga. Um, sorry. Christian ako. So, okay. you know, at times when it gets hard, it's gonna get real hard. It's gonna get real hard. Especially if you're career-oriented talaga. You know, kung gusto mo talaga mag- mag-succeed sa career mo, things are gonna get tough. It will. So praying for me is a very, very, very effective way because things get out of my control. Mm-hmm. And you know, you're gonna need all the miracles you can get. You're gonna need all the help you can get. So yun nga, sabi niya, no, Moreno, dasal. Dasal lang talaga, you know. <laughs> pag talagang, when all else fails or before everything even fails, you know, just pray. Pray it off. It also helps you, eh. It, it helps you manage the stress. It helps you manage also your expectations for the outcomes and everything. And for me, it always works. So for the newbies out there, you know, um, tip number 10, pray it out. <laughs> If you're gonna need to pray at one point or another, you will pray. Kung hindi ka prayerful person, magpe-pray ka. <laughs> <laughs> Lalo na po kunyari, <laughs> deadline na, ang tagal pa rin ng render. <laughs> yes, yun. Ang dami naming times na ganun. Lalo na pag Holy Week. Pag uh... mas, eh. Pag Holy Week kasi sa EBS-CBN, you know, kasi mag-ano na eh, magbabakasyon na. So, yung workload kailangan ni advance kasi kailangan may umere while, while Holy Week. So, it was always a very stressful time kasi nagka-crash yung mga machine. 
Parang pati yung, <laughs> pati yung week, editors, nagka-crash na. Imagine guys, uh, in a week, compounded siya ng worth of a month's work. At, uh, almost a month's work or an extra yes. week's work, no? Yes, al- almost a month's work. Almost work. a month's work, pero you're doing it in, in five days or sometimes three days or four days. Yes, so isipin mo yung stress that you have. Hindi kami umuwi talaga. And yun nga, may point talaga. Magpapray ka na lang talaga eh. Kasi <laughs> ang tagal mag-render, tas kailangan na umere, hindi pa na-approve. Mga ganyan bagay. <laughs> so yun, that's why tip number 10. But you know, I'm going on to my next slide. I also, I have a bonus tip. Bonus tip, oh wow. Bonus tip. Don't give up on your passion. If this is something that you see yourself doing, even if you grow old, don't give up on your passion. No matter the criticisms, no matter what you go through, no matter if people tell you that, you know, pangat ng mo, you're a failure, whatever. Yo, and don't Ramdam give up. Ramdam ko yung hugot na yun, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ramdam ba? <laughs> no, hindi. Yun lang. Especially, kasi, if you're starting out, criticisms can be pretty tough, pretty tough on you. If you're starting out, if you're if you're a graphic designer, pag you know, since sabi na, ano, kasi may one point talaga mm-hmm. in the industry. Um, there was this project we were working for a project. Okay. Pero hindi ko kailala kung sino yung nag-edit. Nasa mm-hmm. ano lang kami? Nasa nag-pitch, nag-pitch. So may pinakita ng TVC music video or TVC actually, and then the yung creative head now for this for this particular department told everyone tinanong niya pa sino gumawa nito eh wala yung gumawa nun sa boardroom mm. so parang sinabi niya magkano binayad niya dito kahit 50 pesos hindi ko babayaran to eh so alam mo yun nakadegrade siya <laughs> nakakadegrade may ganun talaga time guys that's just a glimpse kung gaano ka intense ang um, ano parang meetings outside the editing rooms <laughs> So, <laughs> just be prepared. Yes, yes be prepared. So, isipin mo yun, yung creative head ng isang malaking department. Sinabi sa yun na kahit 50 pesos, hindi ko babayaran to. Nagsayang lang tayo ng X amount of thousands of pesos for this one. It's kind of degrading. Yeah, and kung ako sinabihan nun, baka on the spot, umiyak ako talaga eh. Oh no. <laughs> hindi, pero you're gonna meet different people mm-hmm. na 